Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's video we shall create a respawning AI system. So as of right now what I have is a nav mesh bounds as you can see so my AIs can walk around. I have a very basic AI who basically finds a random point in a reachable uh, location and also whenever this AI gets overlapped he gets destroyed. This system can be applied for items as well it doesn't necessarily have to be for AIs it could be for pickups as well uh, so let's try to spawn a specific amount in some kind of a range and whenever we destroy them let's make sure that they get respawned. So let's create ourselves a new actor and I'm gonna call this spawn zone. Let's open this one up and so inside of here what I want to do is add a box collision and I also want to make sure that this box collision is ignoring everything so it has no collision whatsoever so I'm going to make this into a custom one and I'm going to simply ignore everything related to any type of collisions. Now let's go to our event graph and let's set up a couple of custom events. So the first custom event is going to be called check actors and for this we need a new variable which is going to be our actual actors let's make this into an actor type and let's make sure that this is an array then from here what i want to do is bring it in and do a reverse loop for each so that i would go through all the entries inside of this array and then from the arrays element i want to check whether this actor is valid so basically whether this actor actually exists and then if it says no that this is not valid then again i'm going to bring in the actors array and i'm going to remove that index from memory so on is not valid we're going to remove the index and the index is the one from the loop so that's that, that's one of the events. Now let's create another one. So again, custom event, and I'm going to call this respawn actors. Now on this event right here, what I'm going to do is again, bring in the actors array, and I want to get its length. Then from this length, I want to check if this one is smaller than, let's say 20. So obviously the amount depends on your system. I only want 20 AIs to be in this map. So then we can do an if on this one. Let's connect the execution. And then from here, we want to do a regular flow control for loop like this one. Then from the length, I want to do a minus. And I actually want to have the length at the B route, so at the bottom. And I want to do so that my maximum amount, so in this case 20, minus the amount that we already have in the map. And then this one can go into the last index. And for that to work, the first index must be 1. So basically now this loop is going to spawn the amount that is missing from this array to match the amount of 20 AIs. Now in the loop's body, I'm going to spawn actor from class and the class is my AI class this one then for the transform I'm gonna split that and for the spawn location I'm going to get a random uh, random point in bounding box and for the origin and box extent I'm gonna use my box collision so I'm gonna get that and from this I'm gonna get uh, so get component bounds get component bounds, connect the origin and extent. So now this is going to get a random point inside of this box and then it's going to spawn AI in that specific location. And then after we have spawned this AI, we want to add it to our actors array. So we can then add and connect the return value to over here. So now this is going to store the AIs in the memory. So now once we have done this, we actually want to run this respawn actors whenever we have checked all of our existing actors. So from completed, we want to respawn the actors. There we go. So then the last thing would be that on begin play, we want to set a timer by an event. And I'm going to connect the check actors event to that. I'm going to make sure that the timer is set to one second and that it is looping. So now basically every one second it's going to check for it and respawn these actors. So now let's bring this into the world. So I'm going to place mine over here, make this box quite a bit bigger so that there's a bigger range for the eyes to be spawned in and maybe smaller in the Z so they wouldn't drop 
from a super high distance and then let's try this out there we go you can see it spawned our AIs there's quite a lot of them and let's try to shoot them so now whenever we destroy them you will see that after one second they're going to get respawned there we go so that seems to function just fine and now if we would try this uh, as the clients so you can see here are our AIs and if we shoot them you can see they are getting destroyed but nobody else can see them getting destroyed so this creates a desync which basically is a very bad thing because it spawns more AIs than it should and it only shows uh, basically it respawns these AIs for one of the clients, the one who destroyed them and that's a very bad thing. We don't want that desync if this is for the multiplayer. So to fix that, what we want to do is go to our spawn zone and we want to disconnect first this timer because otherwise we can't change the replication rule. So we want to make sure that this is ran on server and also the respawn actors is ran on the server. And one more thing would be to uh, first let's reconnect the event timer back to where it was and also in the class defaults we want to make sure that this actor right here is getting replicated. Now one more thing is that the actual projectiles are not replicated so for that make sure you go to your first person character well in my case at least it's a first person character and just simply copy this spawn projectile node. From this, we want to create a custom event and call this server spawn projectile. Now we want to provide the transform. So let's create the input for that and make sure that this event is getting ran on server. And then instead of the default spawn, we want to run our server spawn projectile instead and just simply place it in the same location as the regular event was before that. So there we go, we have that. And also, we got to make sure that this projectile that we are spawning is also replicated. So open that up, go to the class defaults and make sure you replicate the, the actor and you also replicate the movement as well. So now let's give it a try. So press play. Let's turn to the side so everybody can see it. Like this, let's have a look. There we go. So let's start killing the AIs, and you will see that there is no more desync. All the characters are getting respawned the way they should, and we can, everybody can basically go ahead and destroy these actors. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, the same principle can be used for pickups or whatever other actors that you might want to respawn in your level. Obviously you can configure the rate at which these get respawned. You can also, if you want, you can respawn only one actor at a time. So instead of having a loop over here, you can just simply respawn one of them. And then every time this gets launched, it's going to check whether the amount is smaller than 20. And if it is, then it's going to respawn only one. Now, one small thing, uh, just in case uh, for the AIs, I don't know, it, it depends, but I've seen a lot of people struggle with this. Make sure that in your class defaults, you have the auto possess AI set to placed in world and spawned. Otherwise, if you spawn an AI during a gameplay, uh, the AI is not going to be able to walk around. So make sure you set that one up. Also make sure that your AI is replicated and all that stuff. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe because I'm uploading all kinds of stuff about UE4. And yeah, see you in the next one.